Hello, um, I said I would make a vlog when I got back from our visit to um, Norwich about the visit and then I didn't and I actually haven't made one have I since I've been back proper one everything's been all sci-fi reading stuff um which I'm sure will have put off some, pe some people but uh, tough um, I don't want to be a liar um, uh, for not making one but it was just I was just too busy and then the longer it was since I'd been back the more I'd forgotten how I was feeling and I it's like writing in a diary isn't it if you leave it too long um, it's just not coming from the heart anymore and it's just saying what you did and stuff um, but I'm going to try and remember what I've been doing and what I was feeling because I um, haven't been able to think very straight at the moment. Um, I've had some ideas or conversations, um, I don't know if you do this but I often have conversations or like a pre-run through um, in my head and I've had quite a few conversations with you um, but that's no good of course because now that's gone I'm not going to be able to remember what I said so it's kind of a waste of time and I don't know why I do it and it's a habit I'm trying to break um, fair enough if I was writing it down and then I could read it but then I know a lot of you wouldn't like that anyway because um, that would be scripted and nobody wants that so um, yeah so I've been offline also because we were cut off as I may have mentioned previously or we were cut off the internet I had to spend quite a bit getting us back the payments back online um, then my charger broke um, and very nicely a friend um, has bought one for me um, I'm assuming I'll have to pay them back um, or do something for them in return and it was so nice of them because it was all so sudden and I was quite distressed about not being able to get on the online but to be fair I did get a lot of other things done um, instead of being online because I waste my time oh my goodness yeah Facebook it's changed and it's planning more and more changes and sharing sharing and mini Facebook everything uh, hate it hate it um, but then I always do hate that sort of thing but um, it's not because I've got anything to hide, I haven't got anything to hide, however, um, I just don't want everything I'm doing just plastered everywhere and shared everywhere in my giant photos and I uh, don't like the idea, I mean you've got all sorts of different people on your Facebook haven't you and you uh, can't be messing about. Um, I'm not saying I'm gonna leave and I certainly don't want to be joining any other social group, you know. Um, network thing I'll just go on and not spend as long on there and not write as much because I want my privacy to a certain extent uh, but it's good communication you know um, I don't have everyone on there on my phone so I don't have the internet on my phone either so um, I have to go online to um, talk to certain people or arrange certain things right it's Saturday night and um, we we are having some people round again um, they haven't been round in, in a while um, and they won't be able to come round for a while I would have thought there's lots of Jewish things coming up um, for the wedding uh, that we went to um, not my wedding <laughs> um, I was so worried about it and there was no need to be because um, it all went really well I was more calm all the people there were people I'd seen before pretty much um, you know all his family and they're not too strict like um, they're not too formal um, like during the day of the wedding they're all getting changed into more casual things and the way they talk to you they're not they don't interrogate you and um, his mum is so nice and the way she speaks to the children is just magic it's just 
like their actual people, which is great, which is what my mum used to do. Whereas some people, I think, either tell children what to do or ignore them. Whereas she was just talking to them and in that way where they get to learn conversation and um, treated like a human being and they get um, a good relationship. I think a lot of people, I know I can't really speak because I don't have children, I know it must be very frustrating with them on at you the whole time, I know I snap at the cats and I don't want to be like that with children, but I think sometimes people tend to only be negative or ignore them, expect them to get on and they don't give them the choice of a positive relationship, if you know what I mean. And if you have a positive relationship with your children, I'm, I'm not trying to say I know what I'm talking about but this is just my opinion if you have that positive relationship then when you're angry with them it means more to them because then they are they worry that they're going to lose that good relationship and they want that I think I believe all children really want to be loved and have that positive relationship with their parents um, and when you have that interaction yeah um, then you have better behaved children probably moving on um, after the um, what I was trying to say about the wedding was that as soon as it was over that stopped being my stress I had a few days of relaxing and then I realised it's nearly Rosh Hashanah so now that's like the thing that I'm worrying about um mostly that I've got nothing to wear and the walking because it's a long way away and we have to walk um, Rosh Hashanah is basically the Jewish New Year um, it's about um, thinking about what you did that year how can you improve next year saying sorry to people you may have wronged giving charity repentance for your you know, sins you basically have to go to the synagogue and the service and then we'll come home and have um, a nice festive meal and uh, my mum was trying to arrange that with me now I do worry because it is a lot of big meals and I was saying to her I really don't want to have that many big meals um, I also don't really want to go to her house because she hasn't sorted it out yet and I we haven't been going re for a while I was going to say recently but we haven't been going for a while she comes here and that's fine and I said I'll do like three I'll do a big meal like each day there's two day there's a night before meal the first day meal the second day meal and then it's gonna be Shabbos you see so that would be that but then there would be the eve evening meal as well oh, I don't know how to explain it and during the service um, we will this is a chauffeur chauffeur not chauffeur driver chauffeur chauffeur it's a horn ram's horn i'm not going to blow it because i've got lipstick on but you basically put it to the side of your mouth and you sort of go into it and it goes ooh, like a trumpet um and that's supposed to we're supposed to be blowing that every day my mum reminded me until rosh Hashanah, and they'll do it in the synagogue and it's like wakes you up and makes you realize you know got to repent to god i'm not an expert on these things you might have noticed um yeah there's a lot of jewish festivals coming up um i've got no money to spend on clothes for them um uh, and I've got no shoes to walk all that distance in uh, and it's a lot of socialising in a formal setting uh, but it's not too bad also worried because this obviously the rabbi's gone now so what we're going to do is he going to come back what's it going to be like without him is it going to be a shambles is no one going to turn up it's a small community anyway um <sighs> Apart from that, I've been addicted to a stupid, stupid game. Um, 
it's a toy game, toy shop game on the DS and it's awful. I've played it before and you get to the end and it just stops. Whether you win or you lose, it says either you win, blah blah blah, or you lose, blah blah blah. And you think, all that effort for that. But um, it's addictive because um, you have to unlock certain um, toys once you've made so many of one toy it'll go on and unlock a different toy and I basically want to unlock all the toys it's that collector in me you know that wants to get all the achievements or wants to get unlock all the toys and see what they are um, I'm doing better than usual I think but it's just such a waste of time I suppose I'm going into some sort of fantasy world because we've got no money and uh, it just stops me thinking about that really um, I haven't had to start my new hours at work yet um, I will let you know when I do I'm already getting like dark circles when I'm to get up early anywhere I'm not going to bed early enough something uh, I feel like my eyes feel really tired whole fair is coming soon as well whole fair it's a big big fair it's like the largest traveling european fair or something they all come together loads of different fairs come together in hull for some reason uh so we'll be going for a walk around probably i don't think we went last year actually um i can hear it from my house it's very nearby to my house um so we will go but i don't like fast rides I don't like any rides actually, I won't be going on rides and we don't have money to spend at, the, at, at it at all but it's still good for a walk around, have a look and if I have got any like saving money by then, if I've saved up any money by then and it's not yom tough then I will maybe go on the big wheel and the bumper cars, we'll have to see. Um, Right, I, I'm i hoping to make an I vlog soon, an alphabet vlog I, um, and hopefully it, um, I'll be able to tell you some of the things I've been thinking about because um, I find it quite hard to get into that with this kind of vlog where I've got no feedback from you of w what parts of what I'm talking about are interesting. Um, I did want to say that while I was at the wedding I was talking to a guy and um, he, we, we were talking, I don't know how we got onto it but we were talking about hate and I just wanted to tell him how hate is such a, such a destructive emotion and that I don't hate anyone and he honestly didn't believe me and he was honestly just saying, he said like you shouldn't deny yourself you know it's a, a feeling you can't decide not to hate and all this and um, he got me worried by the end of it that I was abnormal because I was thinking I was choosing not to hate but maybe I just don't hate or maybe I'm calling it something else and just not calling it that word maybe our definitions of the word are slightly different in our minds um, I know he's gone through a bad time lately with family stuff um, but I honestly think even if you've gone through bad things that you shouldn't hate other people and that those people if they're bad will be judged for that it's not I don't think hating them would help at all I think that whatever you send out comes back um, to you in a way um, I also think we should all try and like love each other <laughs> I know this is going to sound like hippie crap I always tell people I'm a hippie they look at me and think no you're not because you don't look like a flower power child and you know you're into consumerism and stuff I used to really hate consumerism actually um, but there's no getting away from it, is it? Is there really? 
I don't think I'm. It would make a difference if I if I did. Actually, Gilles' brother is um. Is really cool in the way that when he's decided, um, against something, he does an action based on it, and he believes that that does alter other people around you. And I really, I really respect him for that. I feel a bit rubbish about myself, but um, I really respect him for that. Um, I think it's noble what he's doing, and I generally agree with most of the things he comes out with. Not everything, but um, I, I do respect that. I feel like, because I've spent so long trying to be more like other people and feel less isolated, I don't want to pick up on something that's going to make arguments with other people or isolate me and make people talk about me as if, oh, they just like to be different, you know. I don't want that, I've been trying to fit in, so I think what he's been doing um, he is going to make him more separate, so that m might be why I'm not doing those things, but some, but anyway. Yeah. Honestly, don't hate anyone, and I don't wish harm on anyone. I. I feel like some people's actions make me feel sad, or disappointed, or um, all sorts of things. Like I feel pity maybe for bad people, or anger, but not hatred. Hmm. Anyway, this has gone on a really long time, it's going to be heavily edited, and I hope you have a great weekend.